So it's the end of the day. We had a big scare with Hoopty, but thanks to YouTube Guru Joe, which we are going to call YTG. Because he can't say YouTube Guru without stumbling over it. <laughs> he spent like four or five hours on Hoopty. Yeah. Uh, I just want to make sure none of the wires or anything are touching anything. This probably is supposed to be in this. Let's go see if she's she's running now. I do appreciate it. No problem, yeah. yeah. Huge shout out to YTG, Huge though. Huge shout out to Y... I can't say YTG. <laughs> YTG. Huge shout out to Joe. <laughs> yeah. Joe's the man. Yeah, we love you, Joe. But she's alive. She's alive. What is up, guys? Beard and Bowler. Today may look a little different to you. First of all, we're in Abe, which is a lot quieter than Hoopty. Uh, but it's today is my first solo vlog. You saw a little bit of a solo vlog with the mirror combined with the vacation shenanigans and all that. But this is my first true solo vlog. I'd like you to meet my wife, Ashley. Hi. And today is all about beard maintenance. You may be asking yourself, what does beard maintenance have to do with heroes and the journey and all of this stuff well beard and bollard it's kind of the brand name so I have to invest a little bit in my appearance when you have a big shaggy beard like this if you're big and shaggy up top too it, it doesn't look like it's been done on purpose and i start to scare people i'm serious last weekend i made a kid cry at her first birthday party she was all dressed up in a princess dress and i was like hey and then she's like no and then mommy had to take her away from me before i get my hair cut i have to pick it out these are the tools of the trade. I'm picking out my eyelash. <laughs> Maybe the women who watch Beard and Bowler want to know how I do my makeup. <laughs> I gotta deal with enough antics during the week. Get it done! Get it done! Mm -hmm. Don't touch another man's head! He's right. <laughs> Settle down. The problem is, my wife and Matt are two peas in a pod. They're very similar. Sometimes they are like right in unison with each other. Trying to tame the artist. You ready? Thanks. Nice. Well, Looking fresh, or at least I think I'm looking fresh. Uh, Abe, I swear, if you say door jar one more time, when door is not actually a jar, keep saying door jar. Door is not a jar, Abe. It's a door, not a jar. Babe, see, it's going buck. The heck is happening? I, I can't even talk. Like, what is, what is, what, what is happening, Abe? It's, Maybe one of the doors jiggles loose when we go over bumps. The more you know. <laughs> are you done? Oh, are you? <laughs> you better keep talking before Abe starts beeping at you again. Anyway, <laughs> it's always been a struggle getting a haircut. There's a lot of anxiety that builds up inside of me going into a place. One sideburn is shorter than the other so if he trims it it's gonna look like you're bald in one place and you got a sensitive neck too to boot so like all of these things are going through my head to boot to boot to boot she's trying to keep her composure for the vlog folks and then abe starts freaking out she starts wheezing i don't know what the heck's going on gotta go home Trim the beard up now. <laughs> Don't even start. You know what you that means, folks? What it means. Don't folks me. When, when Don't he you has folks me. to trim the beard, that means that there's a lot of cleaning up for me to do. I clean up.
Okay, so the first thing I do when I get in the shower is uh, take my beard soap. Yes, they have soaps specially conditioned for beards. And then I have what's called the cleansing conditioner from Urban Beard, which is awesome. And I also use their oil. I love this stuff. Take a couple drops of this, warm it up, start tip to root, because beard oil travels up, so you want to start tip to root. Next thing is brushes. I love my beard brushes. You got three basic types. The boar bristle is for a shorter beard. Straightens out hair like that. Uh, then the next is like boar, bi <laughs> boar bristle uh, with a combination of regular brush bristle, br brush, 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 brush bristles. Well, this one's kind of beat up, but it was my favorite, the Incredibeard wet brush until I got this one, the Incredibeard wet brush for a longer beard. It really goes through the wet beard really nice. Last thing is beard balm, and by far my favorite is Mod Cabin. Scrape it with your thumbnail, a little bit in the palm of your hands. Keeps it soft, keeps it in place, keeps it from being frizzy. Also, for those of you who are curious, I'm just going to finish my hair right now. I don't know, this works for me. And that's how I go from fro to styling. Beard's a little mangy, needs a trimming. These scissors are Urban Beard. Okay, it's taking a lot off there. Sometimes those sideburns be looking crazy. And we're gonna use this as a thumbnail. All right, all set, all done. That's uh, my beard maintenance in a nutshell. Hope you enjoyed it. Come back for more, not beard stuff, because this will probably be a one-off, but come back for more shenanigans and more hero adventures only on Beard and Bowler. YouTube.com slash Beard and Bowler Productions. I need to refill my water. You know how loud your swallows are. It's like, <laughs> My life. What is happening here? I'm trying to record something. You're pouring water. Abe is beeping at me. Water. Are you quite finished? Quite. Anyway, I'm also going to be going over some of the products that I use in my beard. There's oils, there's bombs, there's... <laughs> <laughs> The worst distraction ever. You're like, bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> that was some good water. <laughs> it is.